Hey, Nikki. Hey, Brandon. Uh, we're 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 back and um, at it again. At it again, boy. It's um. Do you remember forty years ago the last time we recorded? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I I've had dementia set in since then. <laughs> I was talking to Donna last night, and I was like, hey, do you remember April? And she was like, no. And I was like, yeah, me either. <laughs> I don't remember. What is April? April? Yeah, no, it's, um, oh, man, this is interesting. So uh, just for some context, the fairy tale curse has happened in the real world, and a lot of things <laughs> have been going on. I've decided. There's that, too many things happening. There is. We'll just refer to it as the fairy tale curse, I think, across all videos. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Okay. Just in honor of this game and everything. Um, fairy tale curse is going on. We now live in separate states. Um, so we do. We do. Let's jump into this. Um, I'll, I'm, it's funny. The microphone's covering part of the text, but we'll manage. Um, okay. I'm good. I can see it. Perfect. I, um, yes, before we go on, I just am no noticing. I'm, I've never sat this close to the screen looking at Cinderella Phenomenon. And mm -hmm. I'm, I love, I don't know if you can see, there's like these little pictures on the mantle over here. It's like a wedding. And they look like yeah. a suit and tie and stuff. It's cute. It's so cute. All right. Let's, let's do the dang thing. Um, this is where we left off. Um, and that's you. That's me. I'm trying to remember her voice. Um, <clears throat> it's very... My hands are sore by the end of the night, but I still feel like I can practice with a sword. I notice that both Jerrion and Garland look restless, too. Oh, I don't know how to play the game. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Garland eventually leaves the patrol, while Jerrion remains at a table, looking deep in thought. I do want to bother her. Oh, no, I do not want to bother her. <laughs> so I decide to try and find Claude. I go to his room, but find that the door is locked. Uh, also, I just now realized, do you remember what was going on? Uh, I've been practicing sword fighting. Yes. And thought, yeah. Claude is mad at us, and Claude is karma, and we don't know why. Right, he like started like giving us the cold shoulder. Yeet. Yeah. Claude. Karma. <clears throat> Are we training tonight? <clears throat> no answer. My heart sinks. Is he not speaking to me? Did I do something wrong? For days, Claude stayed in his room, only leaving when he had to be on patrol. A few times I saw Porfey go into his room, but she refuses to talk about what is bothering him. I feel so useless. When Claude did appear in the tavern or out in the town, he still had that terrible grimace on his face. Oh, it's me. I forgot. I was so <laughs> enraptured in it. I was just like, oh, we're back. Um, uh, look, I really don't want to talk right now. If you're so frustrated with me, why don't just ignore me? No. Freaking rude. I'm not going to train you tonight. I'm not in the right state of mind. I don't want to talk about it. Just leave me alone. Please. I'm really beginning to worry about him. Today I am in town running errands with Waltz for Parfait. It has been almost a week since Claude started acting so strangely, so I thought I needed to do something for him. I know he likes stresses, and he told me once that he liked roses, but can I really find something that will cheer him up? Perhaps he would like some jewelry. Waltz? Do you remember where that jewelry store Cla uh, Karma likes is? I don't go there very often, <laughs> so unfortunately, no. Princess, is, is this a good deed? Hmm? What you're doing right now, did you think it would be a good deed? Good, good deeds, deeds need to be selfless. Right? Generally, yes. 
I doubt this will count as selfless. I'm doing this to cheer karma up. That sounds pretty selfless. But it's also so that he goes back to teaching me how to fight instead of sulking in his room. No. <laughs> I've heard that Carl has been teaching you how to use a sword. Why do you want to learn how to fight? Because I want to be able to protect myself, and it's not like I can use magic. At least sword fighting gives me an advantage. I'm sorry, princess. I wish I could teach you magic, but it doesn't work when you're under a curse. But on your 18th birthday, when you become the Tinnerai Bearer, you'll be able oh. to use magic. I'll <laughs> instruct you if you want me to. That would be nice. I think this is the first time I've been aware of the fact that she's not 18. Yeah, same. Hmm. But, I mean, classically, these fairy tale girls are, like, between, like, 14 and 16, so it makes sense. That's fair. That's fair. Though that does not solve my current problem. What would cheer Claude up? Walt starts chuckling beside me, and I turn to look at him confused. Karma is important to you, isn't he? He's my partner, and he's helped me. He has also been patient with me and smiled even when I've said some really inconsiderate things to him. I'm glad, Princess, that he's your friend. My friend? Claude does not feel like a friend. <laughs> he feels like something else. <laughs> <laughs> 